Hello all my YouTube friends and friends and everybody else in between. <laughs> um, welcome guys. Um, what, what I'll be showing you guys today is a guest book. Um, I won't be typing the code, but I'll be explaining the code out to you. And it's very, very simple. It's only a couple lines of code that create, that's powering this guest book. And you guys are going to be very surprised how lean the code is and how powerful the guest book is. So um, well, the reason I'm not typing out the code is lately I've been having an issue where my key, I think it's a problem with my keyboard, and when I, but it's only when I run my, my, my screen recorder, so it's kind of weird, because my shift, my arrow keys, and my commas and crap don't work, which is what I need for web design, but when I don't run my screen recorder, it works, so I'm not sure what's going on, so I'm going to try and fix that, but anyway, I'm going to show you how to build this guestbook, my friend asked me to build a guestbook, and I'm going to show you how to build a guestbook today. Uh, I'll, I'll walk you guys through the code, I'm going to show you that it works, I'm going to post something to the guestbook. I'm just going to say, hey, just to show you guys it works, then we jump into Dreamweaver. Set all this bad boy up. So you see, it says, hey, and, it, and I set up, it says, post by Matilda at 524. I'm not sure why I give that time because that's not the time here. On October 6, 2011. So, it, you know, it gives time. It's really, really powerful. I'm going to show you guys how it works. So let's jump into Dreamweaver. What are you doing? Yeah, seven basics. Yeah, it always does that with my screen record. It goes. Sorry about that, guys. It changed my theme because performance issues. And I don't know why because I got a freaking large processor memory. I mean, I got an eight gigabyte memory, so I don't know what's going on here. But either way, let's run through this real fast. This is just a CSS. This is self explanatory, guys. It's really, really simple. So just run. I'm not going to explain that. That's really simple. As you can see, there's not much to it. But I'm going to explain out the, the, the PHP side of things. The PHP is on, on board. I could have made an external file. I chose not to. The PHP is on board. So here we're connecting to our database, localhost, which is good for pretty much 98% of the servers out there. But if your server uses something different, you might want to ask your host provider what it is and put it in there. On my local server, my username is root. So I put root there. I don't have a password on my local server, so I don't use one. If you have one, that's where you want to put your password. This is where you'd want to put the database name of the database that you're going to be connected to. So you're going to select in the database, and that's where you want to put that to. I'm going to skip down here for a little bit and then come back to this, and you guys will see why in a second here. So I'm going to start from here. This is where we start adding things to the database. Okay. So when they type, when the user type in the form, which is the form is right here, when the user type in the form, name, email. And message but we are actually grabbing the time they post the date they post and their IP address so if they start being bad boys in your in your guest book you can ban their IP address from ever showing up in your guest book again so so when they post name email and address what this is doing this is saying make ready to post to the database these fields so it's gonna post these fields to the database so that's all that's doing is posting all these fields to the database when the user hit send or post. Okay, if everything is entered correctly in the data in the form, it's saying your post has been added successfully. So it's printing out this, which is the same statement as echo. And it says else, you know, if they miss something, you did not enter all the required info. See see what that's saying? Right here, where we're printing out the action for the form, where we're printing out the form, we have an action of index. And the reason I'm, I put the action of index.php is because it's parsing to itself. It's processing itself. So if you ever change this file that I have as index the guest book, which would make more sense, which you're going to have to do. So if you change the guest book, you'd want to change it right here on line 83 to guestbook.php. So I just want to show you that as well. Okay. Now down here, what this is doing now is going to show all the contents um, of the database. So here we're querying the database. So it's starting from here. So we query the database. So it's the select from guest book. This is the name of the table in the database. Order by ID. So it's selecting the order by the ID the person posts. So if the person posts Dwayne, Dwayne, so Dwayne, Matilda, uh, John, Jacob. So it's posting it by ID. So it's and, and D E S D S C means descend. So it's descending. So the newer post is going to end up on top. If you want the other post to end up on the bottom, you can put it to ascend, which will end up on the bottom so you can change that to whatever you like here is where we're we're actually printing out 
we're actually uh, running a while loop here. So we're grabbing all this from the, the MySQL database. So we're using a MySQL fetch a sock function. So we're using a fetch a sock to grab all this from the database and we say we're row equal MySQL fetch a sock ID. So where's, where's the, the ID row? ID, grab that, grab the name, email, message, time, date, IP. So grab that. So it's making all this ready to be displayed back to the user if we decide that's what we want. So it's, even though we're not going to display all of this, it's pulling it all from the database, making it um, ready for the user to be displayed. Down here is where we print out what we want to show up. So here we're showing up the name. We're showing the name, time, they post, date they post, and their message. So that's all we're posting. We left out the, the, the IP address. You, you know, you don't want to publish people IP address. So we left out the IP address, but it will be in the database if you need to blacklist somebody. So after they, it grabs all this that for, for, for you to, it makes it ready and holds it there for you to be ready, and it shuts off the connection to your database. So whenever you create a, a PHP query to your database, you want to kill the connection because if you leave it open, you're left it open for hackers and trust me, they love that kind of stuff. Okay? This is just an else statement. You know, if there's no, what this is just saying is if there's no statement, if there's nothing in a database, if you're the very first user to ever show up, and this is only going to show up to the very first user, it will say no posts, no posts are in the database yet. So you're going to be the first one to post. And once you post, nobody's ever seen this message. So this, I'm going to show you guys structure the database. My friend will ask me how to do this. I just go to local host of mine, but you want to go to your server. If you have a local server, you can set it up there. I'm going to go to PHP my admin. Now I'm going to create a new database. I'm going to call mine main.db because I created it already. Why is it showing main.db still in my database? You know what? Let's name this something else. I'm just going to call this test. So I'm going to create a test database. I'm not going to worry about that. Create. I'm going to call the fields guest book. Give it seven fields. And I'm going to click go. Now here we're going to create ID. I'm going to create a name. I'm going to create an email. I'm going to create a message. Time. Date. And IP. Okay, so for my email, I'm going to make it auto increment, primary, name, varchar, 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 all the others are varchar. And for the length of my name, I'm going to give my varchar to name. I'm just going to do 100. I'm not going to get 255 because nobody has 255 characters in their name. 255 for the email because some people decide they want some long ass email. Message 255. And time, 50, date, 50, IP, 50. If you guys want to post a very long message, guys, if you want them to post a long message, you change this to text, and you do not need to put a value here. You delete that if you want them to have post a very long message. And te text posts like 10,000 bytes. It's like 10,000 characters. So it's a quite a long characters. So I'm going to leave mine at bar chart. Where you can, I just want to explain that so if you guys want to do that. So I'm going to click Save. It creates my database. So I'm going to jump back to here. I'm going to refresh the page. It's going to tell me cancel. It's going to tell me my database is not being created because I need to create, I need to change my name on my database here to test because that's what I change it to. So TESD, so test, save all, jump back to here, navigate to the guest book. No dot, no dot, no dot in the guest book. Ah. No posts are in the database yet, so we're going to create one. So I'm going to say my name, my email, hello, YouTube. I'm going to sign it. And there we go. It works. It says post by Dwayne Osborne at 5.37 p.m. on October 6, 2011. So it works. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps. There will be a link in the description for you guys to download this entire package and do whatever you want with it. Sell it, put it on your site, do whatever you want. I don't care. Peace out.